The analysis of data from magnetometry experiments can be a time-consuming and error-prone process, as the data files may contain tens of thousands of data points. Consequently, I developed the following program, which analyzes quantumdesign.dat files and generates several outputs. These include a Word document containing origin plots of the data and curie weiss fits and tables of curie weiss parameters. This video will first show a demonstration of the program, followed by a tutorial on its usage. In order to run the program, the user first clicks button 1 and browses to the data file to be analyzed. Next, the user clicks button 8 and the program analyzes the data and automates origin to generate plots. The calculations involve user-specified parameters, which will be explained in the tutorial. When this process is complete, the user clicks button 9, which opens a folder in which the outputs have been generated. The first output is a Word document containing the curie weiss parameters and origin plots with captions generated by the program. The appearance of these plots and the captions are determined by the templates selected by the user. This is explained in more depth in the tutorial. The program also generates a PowerPoint slideshow containing each graph and its caption. This may aid in the development of presentations for conferences or internal progress meetings. The program additionally generates a folder containing the origin plots exported as images, as some journals request for image files to be submitted separately to the manuscript. The program also generates a folder containing CSVs of the source data and calculated quantities. A folder containing Python plots is also generated for users who do not have Origin installed. Finally, an Origin project containing the plots is generated. The user may utilize the graphical user interface to make any desired modifications to the plots. This concludes the demonstration of the program, so the tutorial will now begin. All parameters that affect the numerical values generated by the program are stored in the Calculation Parameters tab. The first of these are the upper and lower bounds. These determine the temperature ranges over which the Curie-Weiss fits are performed. The median filter parameters are used in cases in which the input data contains outliers that would skew the linear fit. When set to true, the median filter is applied, causing the outliers to be excluded from the linear fitting calculation. However, all data is still plotted in order to maintain transparency. The unit conversion parameters determine the calculation and display of units in the plots. For instance, in the current plot, the conversion of OE to Tesla was specified. The Internal Settings tab contains parameters that determine the cosmetic appearance of the plots and ensure that the input file is correctly interpreted. The first of these parameters are the Moment and Field column heading texts. These determine which columns of the input file the program reads in as the moment and field datasets. To determine the appropriate values for these parameters, the user opens the data file in Excel, selecting comma as the separator. Next, the user inspects the file and determines the header in the column that contains the field data and in the column that contains the moment data. The user then ensures that the parameters in the spreadsheet are set to these values. The output folder parameter specifies the location in which the outputs of the program will be saved. To change this, users click on button 2 and browse to their preferred location or use the new folder button to generate a new directory with their preferred name. The pyplot parameter determines whether Python plots are opened as they are generated. This is designed to enable users who do not have Origin installed to modify these plots via the Python interface. The Word template determines the size of the images that appear in the output document 
and also the wording of the captions. To modify this template, the user first navigates to the existing Word template and opens it in Microsoft Word. Next, the user changes the wording of the captions or the sizes of the images as per their preferences. The user then saves the document with a new name. Finally, the user returns to the spreadsheet, clicks button 3, and selects this new template. The PowerPoint template is modified in a similar manner. First, the existing template is opened. Then, the user makes changes to the slide size and background according to their preferences. Following this, the user again saves the template with a new name, then clicks button 4 in the spreadsheet and selects this new template. To modify the origin templates, the user first opens the origin templates project file. The user then modifies the graph according to their preferences, for instance, changing the color of the plots. This can be done to all layers, including insets. When the user has completed their modifications, the user clicks File, Save Template As. The user then specifies a new name and clicks OK. The user then returns to the spreadsheet, clicks button 5 and browses to the new template. The use of these new templates will now be demonstrated. With the new templates set, the user clicks button 8 to analyze and visualize the data. Opening the Word document, we see that it now contains the new origin template and the new wording of the caption. Opening the PowerPoint file, we see that the slide shape and background from the new PowerPoint template have been applied. This concludes the tutorial. However, it should be noted that the manual contains written descriptions of these procedures and also additional details. Finally, if you would like to use this program, it is available for free from my website, cyresa.com. Simply make a free account, then download the program from the store. Thank you for watching, and I hope this program will help you accelerate your scientific research.